Okay, so zombies throw. Oh no! Parasites from behind! Beautiful, we'll go in and protect that. Oh, and they appear to be starting to break through, and I'm seeing stronger zombies! Hold up! What's a spore spreader doing up in here? Episode last order, then welcome back to the brand spanking new update as our adventures are continuing today. Our adventures are gonna be hitting a brand new type of tier because the refinery, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be putting some gosh darn upgrades up into this thing because I got the rubber parts, I got the bolts, I got the transistors, and I got just enough in terms of the pistons, belts, and what are these things? The fuses to fill up everything and get the refinery up to level two. Will we be able to hit level three today? I don't know, but gosh darn it, I will definitely try. But really quick, one let you guys know to go to twitch.tv slash starside, where we're live every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, which should be a few hours after this video is uploaded. And ladies and gentlemen, as you know, with this new update, it is time for a giveaway as we do with every single time a new update comes out. There is a giveaway stream to be done. And that's exactly what we are going to be doing with five season passes plus 10 levels being given away to five winners who will also be getting 1,000 coins and 10 rare blueprint packs as well, baby. So go ahead and pop out over there for that link at the very tippity top of the description and in the pinned a comment and if you don't know what time that it starts in your own local time zone you can also go to the other link in the description twitch.tv slash start type set schedule that will let you know what time that it starts in your own local time zone that's the same time we're live every single week so looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there but all right back to your regularly scheduled shenanigans if y'all missed in the last episode we went ahead and cleared out for the very first time actually before i finalize that i also want to pop over here and see oh very interesting so every eight hours these modifiers these perks over here where you choose the difficulty and do change and these are completely different from what we saw in the first video which by the way if you guys did not check out definitely make sure you go ahead and give that a look not to mention just check out the entire playlist that we have going for the new season of course make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop with any additional videos that are coming because <laughs> there's gonna be a lot but yeah playlist link in the description and all that jazz definitely check it out because that is where we go over and kind of like you know check out everything that the update has to offer for the first time but today we are back and we're doing a deeper dive in and already i can see some different perks over here on the difficulty scale this one looks kind of tough the zombies attacks cause bleeding that seems like it could be problematic floater bloaters blood stays on the ground and deals damage okay that also seems very scary and then dangerous zombie with a stun of a stun attack like I'm not gonna lie, all three of these things, if we were to take them on at once, may actually make for an incredibly difficult challenge. So before we go ahead and actually finalize this and move up to the level two refinery and see what level two is all about, I do wanna go and kinda give level one a look with all of these kinda like new multipliers and stuff like that, cause I'm not gonna lie, it's got me a little bit spooked. Not to mention, we got the premium best plus and 10 levels as well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, so without further ado, let's get to cashing it on some of these things i think we got some new decorations we'll be able to go ahead and show off at home too we got a new motorcycle we got to go ahead and whip around town as well and this is what i was talking about the little brake chair definitely got to deck out the base with that and then on the contraband side of things we also got some new stuff because all every eight hours these also do uh re not respawn but they kind of like refresh and you can see the rewards that we have available to us are very different and also i still cannot click on the bike for whatever reason which is so weird but uh whatchamacallit well we got some new things over here and as you saw really interesting ones some bricks i absolutely love that because bricks are such a pain to get so i will definitely be taking that from the mysterious trader when i can and also a protector and other stuff too so i'm really excited to continue checking up on this and see what else these fellers do drop and which by the way let me know in that comment section what is the best thing that you have seen either horace or pete uh show up as viable because like i i got a feeling there's some really good things and really great potential for some awesome deals we'll be able to get uh, from these folks but without further ado let me just go really quickly how our defenses look and I caramba. Okay, so before we go and commence with this, uh, here's the thing. Is there any way for me to like repair these? I don't know. They're just like they're broken on the ground. So yeah, I mean, these things over here do look pretty freaking broken. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete them just to be safe and then go and craft up some new ones. I don't know if you if they'll just like I I kind of wonder if you just leave them there and you start a new wave, if they'll just like automatically rebuild themselves or something like that. I kind of want to test that, but also at the same time, I also want to do this in hard mode right now. And hard mode looks like it's gonna be pretty freaking hard. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna try to skip by and not bring out the big guns until I need to i got uh what you recall some weapons that i don't usually break out like the winchester that i kind of want to give a little bit of love but besides that I'm, I'll, I'll bring the shotgun right over here as a little bit of insurance you know because the going could definitely get tough so without further ado wish us luck ladies and gentlemen let the extraction 
begin! And I really hope that this goes well, but we got an entire front line here of enemies, but some of the most dangerous zombies we've yet to see that are going to literally be capable. Let's go. And Winchester, these folks, these zombies are going to be capable of some major freaking damages. Not something that I'm looking forward to, but I oh, love the shotgun rain turrets, man. Those things are awesome. I got to stay away from that blood. That thing could damage us if we get too close. Uh, what should I call? I mean, the zombies can cause bleeding. And then apparently, some sort of a special zombie that can stun us. I don't know what special zombie they talking about, but I imagine we'll be able to see as soon as it pops up. Is it always, could it be, is it the officer? The police person? Oh, they've broken through. They've broken through shotgun right, the midshipman. Oh, well, he's causing bleeding. I don't like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's stay away from the blood of the big boys. Okay, and we still have another enemy over there. Is that the bleeder? I don't know. Uh, we, well, it's definitely a floater bloater. Let's take him down with some shotgun raid. Great success. Victory! Let's go, baby! You cannot stop me, you stupid zombies. You will never be able to take down the wild star sniper. Although, I was guess the going was starting to get a little bit rough. Now, okie dokie. Why don't we go? Let's finalize this puppy! And level two of the refinery has been unlocked. Our construction limits have increased. And uh, what's it going to... I, it, it doesn't... Oh, oh, well, oh, oh, already. Right, right, lots and lots, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm already seeing something immediately that stands out. What we get every time that we upgrade is going to get a little bit harder for us to defend these things because now we have to defend two extractors, so we've got to move our defenses up a little bit. But not just that, lads and lassies. We've also got to, uh, what should I call, uh, on the reward side of things, though, before it was 100 minerals to get 100 of the alloys. Now we're getting 250 for level 2. It's 150 for 300, then level 3, 200 for 400. So we get a significantly better deal in terms of turning the refined or the suspicious minerals into actual refined alloys, which is actually really freaking cool. That's going to give us some incredible bang for our buck to hopefully be able to buy a lot of stuff from our buddy Horace over here and also Again, as if we continue working our way up this, like, I just gotta say, even if you don't like anything else that Horus has got, this unknown box over here does give you an opportunity for some really good stuff every single time. Let's go and give it a spin and let's see what we may or may not win. I saw a purple card up in there. Aluminum, dude, you could have given me, like, the steel. I would have taken the steel, man. I need a little bit of steel in my life. Why don't we go, eh, let's spin it again. Why the heck not? And give it a, uh, come on, give me the purple. Give me a purple, maybe, maybe. The air filters, come on, I don't need those. Although, those could definitely come in handy. And again, these are so many different valuable resources here that you can get your hands on that otherwise might be potentially out of your reach. And I mean, I'm just saying, man, the fact that every time that we upgrade this thing, it just gets that much better for us. Hello, that's new. The coil? I've, I've never even seen this thing appear in the freaking uh, update yet. So that's a new one. If anyone has seen that, definitely let me know. I would like to know immediately where we can come across those. Maybe, I think every week, the factory, like, whatchamacall? I think every week we can adventure to the factory and I think more of the factory might open up. So I gotta imagine the coils are gonna be found somewhere in there and maybe it'll just start appearing in later weeks or maybe now that we upgraded the refinery, we'll be able to find it. I'm not entirely sure, but I definitely am gonna be keeping an eye out on that and definitely keep an eye out for more pistons, more belts, and then the other stuff. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. I can definitely handle that. But all right, on top of all that, ladies and gentlemen, the really awesome part here is if we go over to the building side, we've unlocked level two, and we are now able to build more than ever before. And oh, ho, 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 look at that over here. We can build these trigger turrets. I don't entirely understand what that means, but I could go ahead and build up two of them. So I'm gonna go and get the resources for that and also for some of these thorns. Hello, okie okay, dokie, okay, artichokies. I would say we've got uh, right about most, if not everything that we need to get a little bit additional building done over here on the level two side of things. We're gonna be able to build up two of these trigger turrets here. Only two of them though, because I'm not gonna have the fuses that we need otherwise. So a uh, boop number one, boop number two. And I mean, it, these look pretty straightforward. These over here like shotgun turrets which by the way seeing this entirely new type of turret being built dude i really hope at some point let me know what y'all think about this in that comment section down below too but i really hope that at some point we're gonna be able to I, I don't know like like i don't know have these types of turrets like at our base or something like th these are entirely new types of turrets being added so i'm kind of hopeful that either a this update kind of like leads to a similar mechanic like this whole base defense system uh coming to the game and like us being able to like you know do more base building and actively defending against zombies or b for somehow maybe Maybe the mine sticks around this echo dig site and we'll be able to continue defending it i don't know lots of cool potential there but uh I, I would love to see some of these turrets like stick around and some of these different traps like thorns are also like a new trap like 
I mean, this is exciting stuff, dudes. And if I could get some more nails, we could go ahead and probably craft up even more of those. Hmm. I might need to go and make a quick little pit stop for that. And uh, I kind of got to go and make a pit stop to pick up some more suspicious uh, material in the first place. Because I don't know if y'all noticed, I'm chilling at a cool nine suspicious material. So I reckon it's about time we go and try to collect a little bit of it. And what better place for us to go than at some location where we will also be able to ideally, actually hold up you. Do you have new quests for me yet, Mr. Patrick Coin sir? Now it's gonna be another 14 hours or so. That's a little bit unfortunate. I would have liked to have even more quests even quicker, but he's got nothing new for me, but that's all right. I think we should be able to make, uh, we'll be able to make do just fine because on top of all of these new locations that were added, we also have something new at every single green, yellow, and red zone star what are you talking about also i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna pop over to the motel really quickly because i do think killing bosses this has been the case for like a bunch of past seasons so i do want to really quickly test and see if this is also the case for this season uh killing bosses and mini bosses tends to give a lot of points and the motel has a pretty easy peasy mini boss that would actually be absolutely perfect for that then i can go pop over to the farm too and collect some materials that way and then we are going to have some uh little bit harder challenge ahead of us ladies and gentlemen i'm kind of looking forward to it and i'm looking forward to taking down some more of these zombies Woo -hoo! big hit baby see you later roman zombie alligator how much damage is my winchester doing right now 28 but i do believe if i'm not mistaken yes sir we got some of that good meat in us baby the seasoned meat effect which increases the damage of our firearms by a cool 10 percent oh i gotta go and feed lexi so she comes along for the adventure too she can definitely be a great op so why don't i go and continue uh taking out some of these folks uh, but I'm not going to bring Lexi yet because she will steal these zombies. If Lexi is the one who gets, what you recall, Lexi, of course, being my true friend, Puff, if y'all don't know, she's adorable. Uh, if she gets the finishing blow on any of these zombies, we don't get the materials for it. So I'm kind of a little bit hesitant to bring her along for that reason. So but I'll put up, I think I'll bring her around maybe when I stop by back by the base because I got to grab a few things to build up some more thorns because we now have even better, what you recall, I mean, thorn spot, a big butter boom. Uh, we got even better... Hold up, and shotgun raid! Woo! Love sending those folks flying. Uh, we've got even better, like, spikes to build now in the form of, like, the thorns. So I gotta imagine they'll be better than the wooden spikes. So I kind of want to replace all the wooden spikes with thorns. So we'll see about that. And, oh, baby, our comrade here has got her back turned completely. We will be able to go ahead and slice and dice from behind. Sayonara, weeper! Don't hurt me, please. Don't yell at me. She yelling. That's all right. We just go ahead and get out of there, lickety split, and boop! 50 suspicious material coming our way. That was an easy peasy kill if I have ever seen one, baby. Beautiful. Now I do want to go and see what you call what our comrade, with our friend at the farm will have in terms of pointage as well. And then hopefully we'll be able to get enough points here to knock out a few uh, few runs over at the dig site. Because I do want to see kind of, I, I, I haven't even done like a level two dig site yet. So I kind of do want to do one of each difficulty as well to show off what those are all about. And... Uh, We'll also head over to, like, I think to a red zone, because I do want to see if now, like, the big thing that I want to see is now that we have leveled up uh, to level two over at the Echo Dig site, I want to see if the special Echo boxes that you can find in red, yellow, and green zones, I want to see if they might potentially, like, drop new things now. You know, if they might drop that coil, they would need to upgrade things to level three or when it might start appearing. I, I don't entirely know. That was a weird noise that I just heard as I'm spawning into the farm. What was that about? I've never heard that noise happen as I'm spawning into the farm, dude. Little bit sussed out by that. What in tarnation was that noise? Excuse me? Uh, sir? I'm getting a little bit concerned, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what's going on. Help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I do know that I got some awesome Winchesters. They kind of match the fit pretty perfectly, too. Why don't we go and uh, ba -boop, take out some of the rotten yokels uh, safely from a distance. Not totally safely. He's getting a few hits off on me, but that's okay. I'll go and get plenty more hits off on him. And uh, there's Winchester number one down, but that's right. I got Winchester number two ready and rearing to take his place. And then I'm going to go and punch this dude to the face, to the face. Float like a bee sting, like a butterfly, baby. And take him down a notch. And I'll go and equip the melee weapon in the backup slot. We are going to have a bit of a big red be coming up in the form of the Savage Giant. But guess what, baby? The freaking Winchester is the perfect weapon 
to just keep a nice safe distance from the savage giant enemy here because I'm, I'm just gonna be completely honest it's a pretty hard hitting zombie but guess what that ain't stopping me baby oh no 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 not today you ain't gonna do a gosh darn thing against me now the rotten yokels bit of a different story obviously they're a little bit faster they actually can't catch up to us as i'm running away but yay that's not gonna stop me from slicing and dicing them all over the place uh which call but the boss we should be able to i know there are like all these side pens and stuff that we could go and explore but again my main purpose here i want to go and see what the boss is going to drop for us oh man only 33 damage uh, I do want to see how many uh, materials the boss is going to drop when we take that down. Because if the motel boss only gave us, like, what, 50? I'm kind of hopeful we might be able to get, like, 100, maybe 200 out of this one. And then we'll go and probably... I, I do want to check out, like, all the bosses. I don't know if we're going to be able to check them all out today. But I do definitely want to do a little little tour, you know, a little world tour here. And uh, see what everyone does have to offer to the Wild Star Snipe, you know? But okay, okay, okay. Where is Bossman McGee? Hello, hello, baby. What's up, Ravager? How you doing? All right. Uh, so things are going to get a little bit sketchy here. But as long as we play our cards right, we should be okay. So uh, without further ado, uh, wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. At some point, this Ravager is going to start spinning. And that's when things are going to get complicated. Because once the spinning starts, it ain't stopping, baby. The Ravager, we usually can get like three machete hits off. In between spits over here for the Ravager. And we can try, if we play our cards right, to literally take down the Ravager with minimal damage which is why this is one of my favorite bosses to take down especially whenever a season shows up because a you get a ton of points for it and b realistically all you need is a melee weapon of some sort even your fists if you're patient enough and then the ravager will pretty much be uh dead guy mcgee in no time flat baby so let's just go and get a few more slashes off on the ravager i think our machete should be able to survive all this durability usage uh, just fine already down to below 300 health and uh, yeah as long as you kind of like pace it as like three machete hits and uh, you might need to pace it a little bit differently for different melee weapons Boop! the ravager will die at 150 suspicious materials will come your way that's awesome i will be taking that uh to the bank and uh where does that leave us in terms of all of this only 280 brother okay we might need to go and take down something else i want more points baby i need more of the points hadoki doki my artichokies those adventures are gonna be taking us over here to the red limestone spires i always get confused then we got a straight shot where we can pop by the yellow zone before we ultimately make our way back there actually i might go to the green zone and then go to my house because i do need to pick up some of those resources that i was talking about to finish up some of our newest defenses over there at the dig site echo and then we get to go on a whole new tier of difficulty we get to see just how different things are once we have that kind of like second uh a second tier to worry about with uh, all the dig sites and stuff like that but without further ado we're kind of well versed in what to do in these zones we are looking for a chest but not just any chest we're looking for the best i want to be the very best like no one ever was do 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 and there we go oh! dude they always come out of freaking nowhere at mach 5 speeds okay 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 let's not get caught up in that i have a lot of angry things coming at me very quickly i am going to need to a get oh no not the turkey dude i wanted and that bullet was supposed to be for the zombies all right luckily i can get a little bit of separation here dodge and weave do a little serpentine maneuver through the rocks and then let's go and equip ourselves a few new weapons i will definitely be needing to whoop let's get out of there go ahead and utilize these on the lickety splickety and whoop let's get out of there listen here you freaking amateur sumo wrestler you ain't got jake diddly squat on your boy star now let's go and see what is inside of here oh is this a per no that was a wolf on the mini map that kind of looked like it might be a person they were just kind of like staring at that rock i guess that wolf was just mesmerized of course there's more why am i not surprised oh my god even more than that these freaking bushes man they will be the end of me anyone else want to make a surprise appearance no we're good all right well my money is on this thing making a really loud noise a really loud noise was made. Oh my god, and a lot of zombies are coming our way. Okay, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and equip the shotgun raid really quickly. We're gonna go and get all these fellers up in a group. And uh, without further ado, shotgun raid! Some state drama, most of you feel the pain. Shotgun rain! Let's go, baby. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we want to get a little bit of separation from these abominations and slice them up real freaking good. And all right, we're taking a little bit of damage, but our armor should be doing a decent job at holding up. These toxic abominations are a minor nuisance at the best. Your boy will slice and dice them into oblivion. And then let's see what might be awaiting us inside of the box. And then how are we looking here on contraband? Up to 375, baby. You love to see that. Because I think, uh, what's your call? We need like 100, 150, and then 200. Oh, hello. That's shiny. I Oh, box for spare parts. Lovely seeing you here, my friend. Uh, and I do definitely want to pick up a few of these other things. So I will pick up the oak planks. And I will also 
Uh, I'll get rid of the freaking ball bearing, man. I will pick up the gas, though. I'll always love me a little bit of gas. Because this is the good kind of gas. This ain't the freaking, uh, oh, I had a breakfast burrito a few hours ago type of gas. No, this is the vroom vroom type of gas. We like that gas. We prefer that type of gas. Alrighty, though, onwards and upwards. Let's pop by the green zone on the lickety split. See if we can't find anything there. Otherwise, make that final trip back home. Grab a few things. Bring out the new whip. I think. Oh, we got a freaking, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, put the new chair down over at home base, man. We got a little bit of upgrading to do. Dude, I, you know what would be so awesome, though? I would absolutely love and let me know what y'all think about this in those comments freaking i want to see like this this thing that we can do at the dig site echo i want to do that at our base you know i want to maybe have like a person that i could talk to and be like hey activate the zombie wave and then you know like we can like and then zombies start attacking our base on demand and we have to like defend it that just seems like such a cool freaking idea i would love something along those lines i just want some way for like this mechanic that was introduced in this season and you know was introduced many seasons ago in fort moss i just wanted to make a return it's such a cool idea to actually be able to build up your base with actual base defenses and actually have to fend things off the only things that attack our base are the raiders when you don't bribe them properly and even then they they they, they don't truly like dying. They're not really meant to be killed unless you get extra cheeky with it and pull off a perfect freaking maneuver. And then there's the zombie horde that the freaking bloody witch sends our way. And uh, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. They touch a rock, they die. <laughs> I mean, they're not really the most terrifying thing. It'd be so cool to see something like that actually introduced into the game permanently, you know? Like, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think, because I personally am definitely on that boat. I want to see that happen. And okie dokie, folks. I think these nails were the last thing we really needed. I'll go ahead and fill up my inventory with... Uh, actually, I don't need to bring multiple stacks of nails. I think one stack ought to do. Uh, I'll just go ahead and bring this with us, and then hopefully this will be good to go. Yeah, I think weapon-wise we're doing all right. I got eight medkits left. I think that should be enough. And then I will also bring these box for spare parts uh, to the harbor. So that means we got a bit of a delivery to do here, lads and lassies. Without further ado, let's hop on back the motorcycle and let's hop our way. Oh, hold up, down. Sorry, just crashed into a few walls here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I forgot to feed Lexi. I knew I was forgetting something. Hello, Gidoki. Lexi has been fed and good news, everybody. I also realized that I was talking about the new oldie bike. Let's go and repaint this thing and let's go and whip it around, shall we? Because this thing, dude, A, it kind of matches the outfit a little bit and B, it's literally a tractor god motorcycle dude look at this thing i'm going farming baby except i'm actually going to, like the mine or something but you know what i mean you get what i'm getting at and you know where y'all should go ahead and get on over as well and twitch that tv side starts where we are live every single friday at 6 p.m eastern time link at the top of the description and in the pinned comment make sure y'all go ahead and pop on over there if you don't know what time that, that, that stream starts in your own local time zone you can also go to the other link in the description twitch that tv side starts slash schedule they'll go ahead and let you know what time that it starts in your own local time zone once you know what time it starts in your own local time zone that's the same time that we're going live every single week same time same place on fridays looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there always a fan freaking fantastic time we got the freaking face cam rolling so it's a bit of a different experience from the videos obviously it's live there's like a live chance so y'all can actually interact with not just the community at large as we are playing but you can also interact with me and it's just such a cool freaking experience not to mention we got the new update to show off and with new updates there are giveaways that come with them as well ladies and gentlemen so you'll definitely want to make sure to go in and pop on over there because we as with we always do with every time a new season does uh, come out there is a giveaway to be done with five premium passes being given out to viewers throughout the stream so we are gonna be doing that was looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there make sure that you are tuning in and of course we're gonna be going live later today since today is a friday so after this video is live it should be what you recall we should be streaming the same day so looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there we're gonna have a fan freaking fantastic time especially with all of these freaking defenses and building up that we can do like come on how can we not have fun? And what's going on over here? This guy's having fun. Climb down. You're drunk. It's dangerous. Tell you what. Everyone can climb down, but not everyone can climb to the top of the evolutionary ladder. Since when is this rock the evolutionary ladder, kind sir? Is, th is that their entire conversation? Come on, dudes. That's it? That's their entire interaction? I am not amused. Okie doc. You know what will amuse me, though? And some of these level two thorns that we are going to be able to go ahead and build on up. We definitely want to go and, I mean, I just want to have them all over here on the freaking front line. I think that that is going to be the best move. Uh, then, besides that, I reckon it might not be a bad idea here to go ahead. I think we want to probably because i can still put down like i can still put down two more thorns yeah why don't we just go and delete these things i don't think we need the old freaking ones anymore now that we are moving on to bigger and better things in the form of the thorns but i'm also kind of tempted to i don't know i kind of want to have like a backup tripwire all the way in the back i feel like that might not be a bad idea but that also might be kind of overkill i don't know now it's just a matter of organizing these things and 
I think the best way to organize this is gonna be like kind of alternating because actually I don't know if we can't alternate that much. Mm, never mind. I'm talking out of my butt here. Uh, I don't know. We'll probably want to have some turrets as like backup behind these turrets. I, I we'll, we'll figure out exactly how to do this. Maybe instead of like, I don't know, maybe I could build up I could build up one more friend turret here, actually. That that might not be too bad of an idea. I can't build any more of the trigger turrets because I don't have the fuses, but I can build one more friend, and then I could kind of have it perfectly set up where we have, like, a friend behind the main turret to kind of prove, like, provide extra protection. I, I don't know. We'll see how this goes, but YOLO, let's freaking send it. Look at my army, ladies and gentlemen. The army of turrets that are gonna be helping us. And also, I'm gonna go and uh, bloop, put all of that stuff away under there to make my life significantly easier. Definitely wanna do that. And then I also kinda wanna climb up into this watchtower and see what our defenses look like. Cause uh, we get this awesome little kind of like zoom out overview of everything that's going on. Hopefully front loading our defenses is a good idea. Like, I don't know if it maybe will be a good idea to like have some of those further back to kinda like protect the second excavator. We'll see exactly how things go, because again, we got a little bit of time, and we are going to be starting out on the easy side of things, right? So we're going to be starting out with uh, level one here. We'll see how that goes, and then we'll work our way up the ladder. Yeah? Yeah, let's freaking do it. Send it! Zombies attacks can cause bleeding. Let's see just how much bleeding they can cause. And I am ready to protect, and so is my army of seven turrets! Y'all better be ready to go. Who knows what time? Oh, they're coming out of the freaking swamp! Well, unfortunately for them, uh, guess what? Oh my god, look at them. If they just, if they try to attack us up in the middle, not a good idea. Shotgun rain. I'll go and help out a little bit. I don't want my thorns here being absolutely destroyed too quickly. But oh my god, just look at the barrage of free- Oh my god, look at our turrets go, dude! If that's not incredible, I don't know what is. Shotgun rain. I'll go and help out a little bit as well. Look at that, dude. The shotgun turrets are low-key kind of- OP because of the fact that they can do like, you know, as zombies. Oh no, parasites from behind. Beautiful, we'll go in and protect that. Oh, and they appear to be starting to break through and I'm seeing stronger zombies. Hold up, what's a spore spreader doing up in here? Let's take you down before you spread too many spores. All right, I gotta go in and back it up a little bit here. Okay, so with higher level comes tougher zombies as well. Well, 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 I was not entirely anticipating that, yet here we are. And we got a few more levels too. Thank you, thank you, thank you very kindly. I'll go ahead and take those. Uh, well, 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 uh, was not anticipating that. A little bit saddened by the sight of our, uh, whatchamacall, these two things here. Let's just go and, uh, whatchamacall, I'd rather be safe than sorry. We'll just go ahead and get rid of those folks over there. That leaves us enough resources here to build up one more. And then I probably might want to help a little bit more in this next wave. I feel like that won't be a bad idea. Why don't we go and bring the pistol out to play and then... Uh, well, push comes to shove, we have the freaking minigun if things really start to get out of hand. I think that's a decent way to play our hand over here. And I gotta maybe grab a little bit more iron too to build up some more thorns. Alrighty, folks, more iron has been secured. Let's go and put these thorns down right over there. We are at that 12 out of 12 limit. Our turrets are still standing strong, which you do love to see. But this time, I got some weapons ready to go because uh, the floater bloater's blood will stay on the ground and deal damage as we take on the medium difficulty and then ultimately the final hard difficulty will await us. Without further ado, wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see exactly how this goes, shall we? But it does appear like it's not a bad idea to front load your defenses. It doesn't really make too much sense from what I can tell to space them out. It definitely makes a little bit more sense, I think to just have them just absolutely front loaded up the wazoo, protecting what we got. Let's bring out the minigun and the wild star snipe will become a turret as well. Haha, <laughs> there are eight turrets now. Two of the super ones, five of the shotgun ones, and then one of the star turrets, baby. And oh, that's a big old group of zombies right over there. Let's contribute, shall we? Always happy to use up a little bit of minigun, especially because by the looks of it, they're breaking through these defenses, and I imagine we're gonna have some tougher zombies coming our way. We just got this parasite coming from behind. Do now, oh, wait, is that, a, is that a toxic spewer? What incarnation? No, that was called a bloody chaser. I don't know what a bloody chaser is, but I'm a little bit concerned by that. And also, this giant group of zombies, did we win? Woo! We won! I was gonna say, dude, seeing how big these groups of zombies get and how much they can group up, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm kind of starting to want to get some grenade traps going. I feel like that actually might be a surprisingly decent idea, especially if you gotta give these zombies an opportunity to bunch up and then they hit a grenade trap and just freaking get blown sky high. I kind of like that idea. 
I'm not gonna lie. But all right, I kind of like the idea of repairing some of these things too. So without further ado, let's go and get rid of them so we can go ahead and replace them with some proper protections there with some more thorns. There we got one, there we got two, and I'm a few nails short. So I'll probably have to go and grab uh, some of those too because level three, Zombie defense does await us. But on the bright side, you know what else awaits us? A whole ton of stuff with our boy Horus here. All right, I'm claiming the protector. Let's freaking go. I'm claiming the bricks. Let's go. I'm claiming the cement. Let's go. And uh, without further ado, let's go. Let's go around the merry-go-round, baby. Let's see what our two unknown boxes have got. Let's go. Left the factory parts. Let's send it another time. I saw titanium up in there. I see the purple card as a possibility. Doggy treats. All right, I guess Lexi will be pretty happy with that. Speaking of which, uh, where is Lexi? Has she not been helping out this entire time? I def I gave her the turkey. Lexi shouldn't be fed. Lexi, do you just are you scared of the dig site? What's going on, pup? What's going on, pup? Huh? What well, that's sus. And alrighty, folks, we've got the supplies in a tow. Brought in the rest of the Oh, this stacks past 20. I actually love to see that. Our nails are beyond 20. That is beautiful. I didn't notice that before. That's awesome. I love it. Uh, which McCall? Let's go and put down them thorns right over there. And our newest set of defenses are fully repaired. 12 out of 12. Let's go. Let's activate the hardest version of level two that there is, at least for now with the modifiers that we got. Again, I'm interested to see what other modifiers there are. And let me know in that comment section too. I'm curious what are some other like notable modifiers you may have stumbled across too, because I feel like there's a lot of different ones to choose from and they, they appear to be pretty interesting as well. Not to mention, dude, I mean, look at all the freaking rewards you get in terms of like even doing it on easy. We're getting 25 battle pass points and 250 alloys. That is crazy. But all right, without further ado, let the games begin. And hopefully they go pretty good. We will see. I got my pistol drizzle ready to go. And wherever these zombies decide to make an appearance out of, I'm ready to freaking mow them down. Hello, hello, kind sirs. This is the initial wave, mainly weak zombies. I'll let the turrets do their job. I ain't too worried about these. Okay, a lot more zombies are starting to appear. I'm getting a little bit more worried than maybe I was before, but luckily I got pistol drizzle ready to go. And all these turrets doing a ton of damage. As long as the zombies kind of like attack the center spires, or what you might call like the center thorns, it actually ends up being a very well distributed attack. And okie dokie, it broke it through the fences. That's a little bit quicker than I expected. Also, I wonder if the turrets can actually, if I get caught in the crossfire, can the turrets damage me too? Is that a thing? Guys, shoot me. It's for science. I don't think so. I don't I don't appear to be getting hurt by the turrets, so that's good. However, oh we mama there are oh, the bloody chaser! Oh! What's going on? Okay, this leg looks like a really weak toxic or toxic spewer or something. My weapon broke! Take you down! I'm bleeding! The blood is damaging me! Our thorns are destroyed, but luckily the turrets stand strong! That's beautiful that none of these turrets have been destroyed yet, but oh my goodness! Yeah, that just gets more and more overwhelming each and every time, but at the very least, we have survived! And we survived in gorgeous fashion. I am gonna have to repair these things. Still have no idea if they just like automatically repair. I guess we'll, we'll give that a test run. I, I do really want to figure that out. Uh, but we'll, we'll give that a test run probably next time or something like that. But there y'all have it. One of each difficulty of level two. Next up, level three. But when will level three be ours? Whenever we can find these coils, which to be honest, I'm not entirely sure when that will be a thing. But on the bright side, I, oh my God, we're already up to level freaking 25, dude. We are cruising and bruising through this stuff. Not just that, though. Let's go over to contraband here. And uh, we have 400 points to spare. Now, we could, if we wanted, actually save this up and see what, you know, maybe Horus has around for us next time. Or we could go on a bit of an opening spree. Let's do a little bit of both. Let's open up two of these puppies. And then the rest, I kind of do want to save to see what might wait for us next time. Not the aluminum. Can I get the steel instead? How do I get the aluminum twice out of the commons? That one feels extra common, you know? Okay, the lenses, I'll take that. That can be... Ah, screw it. Let's keep on spinning, baby. Please, show me a little bit of good luck. Anti-reds! Are you kidding me right now? Come on, please. The final one. Give me a little bit of good luck. Yeah! Yeah! More air filters! Come on, man. I... It's, uh, Small sample size, but some of these seem more calm than their counterparts. I don't know. Maybe I'm delusional. Maybe I'm crazy. We time will tell. Time will tell. Oh, that also does remind me. Ah, there you go. I can finally click on it. Look at the hauler, dude. This motorcycle looks insane. I absolutely positively did this in my life. This might be my favorite motorcycle I've seen so far in the game. The drills on the front, the rugged look, I, I like definitely instant like top three favorite motorcycles. This hauler is insane. And then Horus, I mean, I'm making great progress with Horus towards getting uh, the Triumph, which allows uh, storing decorative objects, but 
that that freaky motorcycle looks sick and also wait hopefully does that mean that i can finally go through and uh show all the other motorcycles and there you go there we got the expedition backpack these weren't showing up earlier for some reason the drifter motorcycle which is eh uh we got that backpack which goes really good with the outfit we'll be able to get once we get some of the boxes that correspond with it and then this this bike is actually really sick too the edge there's some awesome skins that the freaking uh this update added oh and i still got to put the freaking chair down I'll do that next time we're back at base. I completely got sidetracked with that. There's just so much going on. Can I go down in, into here? What are you buying? Oh, dude, is that the guy from Resident Evil? Horace? Is that you? Listen, that's that's a Resident Evil dealer quote if or trader quote if I've ever heard one. What are you buying? What are you selling? That is just iconic, man. I still have those freaking phrases ingrained in my membrane. Hokey dokey though, I do have a few of these boxes for spare parts and I would ideally like to put these things to use as well. So let's pop things off, top them off with a bit of a cherry on top. We already got the whipped cream, but listen, we still gotta toss the cherry up there, pop over to the port. And we got some brand spanking new deliveries to do. This is nice, we'll get sewer points as well, like sewer reputation points from doing these deliveries, right? If I'm not mistaken, which might lead to like some more crane keys that we'll be able to use and get some goodies from that. So, I mean, there's always kind of like a double whammy with doing, whatchamacallit, like getting rewards uh, throughout seasons is the fact that you can cash them in here as well. Like for the lifelong dream over here, like we get delivery points, which is so freaking huge. And uh, yeah, why don't we go and just for the sake of science, I'll, to I'll toss on some high value goods as well. Try to max out the amount of levels that we get for our battle pass. And also the reputation ain't bad either. Because y'all know me. I'm a man for the people. And the people want to see everything that the battle pass has got absolutely ASAP. So I will do everything in my power to show off everything that it's got on the absolute ASAP. Which is another reason that y'all got to go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed. And hit that notification bell. Because we are all about showing off all the newness that all the new things, all the new updates do bring. And this update still has so much more for us to be checking out that we are are going to get to check in but boom shakalaka boom a great success number one let's make a great success number two very nice we'll go and put in the last few of these boxes over here definitely get the insurance do not want to be losing out on that and send it 55 more battle passports coming our way that should definitely be a few levels oh we got water let's go you are you do exactly what i wanted delivery terminal how did you know what to get me why not the packages aren't damaged that is good that's what that two coin insurance got for us and a crowbar oh my god Incredible luck. I'm kidding. Crowbar's meh. I mean, it's nice. Could be better, though. Although, the thing about these deliveries, you do have a chance of getting crazy things like uh, freaking ATV transmissions and stuff if you're lucky enough, which is just another great reason to be knocking them out. Now, that does remind me here. How are we looking on reputation? Do I have a level up on the reputation side of things? Oh, let's go, baby! And I got a crane key, too. Oh, yeah. We're going to be cashing that in, but I think that might be something we want to go ahead and do potentially next time in the next episode of Last Day on Earth. Because with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think that's actually a perfect point for us to go ahead and end off our continuation, our second episode, our second dive into the new Season 17 update, the Dig Site Echo. And we didn't go to the factory today because it didn't respawn yet, but that's all right. We will return over there. No need to stress. No need to fret. And uh, check this out. Oh, that 40 steel is so good. And we, we almost got the resonator. We almost got the freaking, uh, what should I call, expedition backpack on the contraband side of things. Uh, not really anything too new to go over there, right? But uh, I'll be taking all of those. And seriously, y'all have no idea how much I'd love to see that steel plate. I need steel to upgrade my base. A, to steel. And B, to ash. So thank you very kindly. Season pass. You're very kind. But with that said, with that done, uh, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding fortune. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.